Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this third day of May, 2017. And we're on the eve of the National Day of Prayer. National Day of Prayer. It's always the first Thursday in the month of May. Um, It's held every year at this time. Uh, Since its creation in 1952, by an act of Congress, the National Day of Prayer has had the official support of presidents from both major parties. Uh, Dion Elmore, he's a chief, a chief communications officer for the National Day of Prayer, and he said, quote, our hope, our hope is that once again citizens of the United States will be encouraged by the presidential and gubernatorial proclamations to quote, turn to God in prayer and meditation at churches and groups and as in individuals. Believing that the scripture teaches in James 5.16 that, quote, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Now the text that they have chosen for this National Day of Prayer is significant. <clears throat> it's entitled, For Your Great Name's Sake, and it's taken from Daniel chapter 9, Verse 19, which says in English, O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, listen and do. Defer not for your own sake, O my God, for your city and your people are called by your name. I want to read this in English based upon the Hebrew. It would be, O Adonai, this is Daniel 9, 19, O O Adonai, hear, O Adonai, forgive, O Adonai, listen, and take action for your own sake, O my God. Do not delay because your city and your people are called by your name. Now may I say to you, Adonai is not his name. Adonai is not his name. His name is Yahweh. Exodus 3.15. It's clear that that's his name forever, from generation to generation. Now the rabbis have said, no, that's it. you shouldn't uh, pronounce that name. That's, that's the ineffable name. You can't... Uh, you, be in danger of of, uh, uh, sinning if you use that name, using the Lord's name in vain. But Himlo Nachon, the rabbis are not correct on this. It's the scriptures that we go by. His name is great. Of all the scriptures you could have referred to to support this this national day of prayer for your great namesake, I mean, there are many in the scriptures referred to to this uh, uh, Psalm 34, 3, O magnify Yahweh with me and let us exalt his name together. Uh, Malachi 1, 11, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sits, sits, my name shall be great, says Yahweh, among the nations. So I think it's unfortunate that we don't have a text that would support this, but we do have an understanding. And it's a text that uh, that uh, carries over to the New Testament. In uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 and following, it says, God highly exalted Jesus and, ge- and has given him a name that is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus is Yahweh to the glory of God. Not Jesus is Lord. That's not what it says. Jesus is Yahweh to the glory of God. So with this in mind, you know, we praise the Lord for this call to prayer, National Day of Prayer, and we we praise God for the text that we're called to follow, for your great namesake. But let's focus on his great name. And so with that in mind, I say on this night, on the eve of this National Day of Prayer, God luli Yahweh iti, Un ramamosh mo yakdav. Oh, magnify Yahweh with me and let us exalt his name together. And that's the truth.